We've spent the last year Zooming and FaceTiming and Google Hangouting. But what about 3D holograms? Yes, holograms are poised to be a major player in a post-pandemic world. I'm Itai Had in Santa Monica. And I'm also Itai Had with how 3D holograms are projected to be the next big thing in safe communications. Throughout his decades-long career, as the frontman of the legendary rock band Steppenwolf, John Kay has done countless interviews all over the world. It can become quite tedious in the sense that you hear yourself droning on and on about the same sort of thing. Born to be wild. The last thing the man known for the song Born to be Wild wants to be is boring. But today, that's not a problem. Thank you. He's at a studio in Santa Monica where he's about to do an interview unlike any he's ever done before. When you get into this new territory, it keeps you from becoming the guy in a rocking chair on your porch, right? The interview is for a music documentary, but it's not so much what he's about to say that's so unusual, but how. Ah, the joys and the magic of a hologram. With wow. us now, John Kay. We are so happy to have you with us today, John. Thank you very much for taking the time to do this. My pleasure. It looked like Scotty from the Star Trek just put you in front of me. <laughs> Canadian journalist Gord Martineau had hoped to conduct the interview in person, but COVID-19 threw a wrench into his plan. So he found the next best thing, beaming himself 2,500 miles from Toronto to California as a hologram. It does give you that kind of intimacy you get in a one-to-one -one interview because you know the person's right there, you can see them, uh, you know, it's, it's like having them standing right next to you. So it, you know, it really gives you that special one-on-one -on -one, uh, scenario that you don't get with, with something over the internet. I seem to have found it. General Kenobi. Once the stuff of science fiction, holograms are now becoming a reality as companies race to meet an exploding demand for connectivity now and in a post-pandemic world. Hi, Larry. Hey, how are you? Larry O'Reilly is the CEO of Art Media, the Canadian company behind the Holopod, a 3D display system that can beam you to a meeting or an interview with a reporter without ever getting on a plane. The image is created in front of a green screen and then projected onto a highly reflective mesh. A dark background and colored lights give the appearance of a 3D image all in real time. I'm being captured in 4K. My audio is being captured with a little microphone here. I have an earpiece so I can hear you as well. And we take that data and we put it into our art engine server. And really that's what our business is all about is the software that enables these large data packs to travel over the common internet, fully secure, fully encrypted, um, with almost no noticeable latency. The technology isn't cheap. An event using the holopod can cost upwards of $20,000. But Larry believes it's only a matter of time before it's available it's to the masses. Happen. I mean, it will become part of your television. You know, I envision your, your big widescreen TV turning on its side and all of a sudden your friend beams in from the other side of the world. For John, it was a mind-blowing experience one he won't forget anytime soon. That was really quite something. I uh, was struck by how it was really like I could have just reached out and touched him. Pushing the boundaries of 3D of imaging by taking communication to a whole new dimension.